Good morning, babies, and welcome to Simply Stacy, where the joy of the Lord is our strength. Well, it's still January, it's still the beginning of the year. So many people have made, you know, they say resolutions or things that you want to do this year that you didn't do last year, that you probably promised yourself that you was going to do last year. You want to see some changes in your life. You're taught at where you're at right now. There's goals that you want to reach that you haven't reached. So I want to talk about belief systems, you know, because you can't keep doing the same thing, thinking that you're going to get a different result. You're not. The word said, as a man thinketh, so is he. So it's got to do with your thinking, your perception of yourself. Do you believe that you can do what you want to do? Do you believe that you can make the changes that you want to make in your life right now at this moment? You know, you have to believe that you can do and be what you desire to be. That's the number one thing. And you have to change the way you think about a situation or a thing. You can't keep the same stinky thinking. You can't keep the same belief systems and think that you're going to get a different result or a different outcome. It's not going to happen. You have to begin with the way you think. You have to begin with your mindset. Change your mindset. Change your life. I'm a firm believer of that. I'm living it out right now. The way that you're thinking is holding you back. So you have to get new information about the situation that you want to change. Because whatever you're thinking about that situation or that thing or that outcome, that's why you keep getting the same results. But once you change that belief system in that area, once you begin to learn the truth of that situation, you will begin to change and get a different outcome. So babies, you need to change the way you think. I always go back to the word of God. I always ask myself and I ask God, what do you say about this situation? How should I act? How should I approach it? What should I do about it? If you believe in God and you serve God, first get his truth on that situation and allow him to direct your path. Make up in your mind that you're going to do his will when it comes to that situation. And then you'll get a godly outcome because if you don't do it God's way, if you don't do his will, you won't get a godly outcome. So if you want a godly outcome in whatever situation that you want to change or whatever outcome that you want to have, if you want a godly outcome, you need to find God's will for that situation. You need to find his plan, his purpose. You need to see how he's telling you how to act and what to do in that situation so that you can get his outcome. Well, babies, the moral of the story is <laughs> change your belief system. Because whatever you believe, what are you are thinking, how you are thinking, you know, as the word said, as a man thinking, so is he, your thinking have got you in the situation that you're in now. So your thinking is going to get you out of that situation, but you want the correct thinking so that you can get the correct outcome that you want. Well, babies, let's change our belief systems. It's the beginning of the year. We got a clean slate. Every day is a new day, brings new glory. You can get a new outcome. Just change the way that you are thinking. Don't think that you can stay the way you are or continue to think the way that you think. Continue the same behavior and that you're going to get a different outcome. You're not. You have to change the way you think. You have to change that behavior so that you can get a different outcome. Well, babies, I love you and so does God. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. I love you. So does God. Mwah. Smooch your sugar woogers and have a wonderful day. Change the way you're thinking and change your life.